What do they say? Action. Action. <laughs> Hi guys, I have a haul video from Goodwill. You guys saw the shop with me. Aaron's right there, so I'm kind of like seeing if you stare at me. <laughs> um, you saw the shop with me. I went with my mom. And while I didn't get a lot of the things that I actually found on camera, like I saw that when I was editing, um, because I was trying to kind of look and then film, but then I was like, well, what's the point? Because I didn't capture any of it on camera. But anyways, I'm here to show you now. I think we did pretty good. All right, so someone must have donated their entire frog collection because we have these 1989 I think it says Division of Applause, Frog, Salt and Pepper Shakers. They're so cute. Look at her little face. She's smitten, babe. She went shopping. <laughs> okay. All right. So those are a couple dollars. So I got those. Then this was really cute. This is Left In's or Left In, sorry, Exclusives, Korea. This little frog. And a little baby frog. I tried to get some natural light in here. So let's hope y'all can see everything. Then I picked up these Carol Western. You know, I didn't get to look these up. And I meant to while we were there. But it was like a last minute thing. And I grabbed them while like last minute and didn't check them out. But they're, they're these California like touristy um 1984 Carol Western. I thought something else. That's it. Made in Korea. But I thought they were cool. And maybe someone that lives in California would appreciate them. Um, I mainly got them because they actually had someone's name. It, had it not said Carol Western on the bottom, I probably wouldn't have grabbed them. But I got them because of their name. And then right next to them... Were, next to the salt and pepper shakers were these, so you didn't get to see any of this stuff, these real Hondo snails. And I think they thought they were salt and pepper shakers, but they weren't. But they're two little snails. Aren't they so cute? Those are a couple dollars. So did you see these? He didn't see none of this stuff. Then you guys saw me actually find this one. So this is awesome. They suck it on a sticker that was on here. Why do they do that? Listen, Goodwill, you guys gotta stop putting your stickers on top of markings and on top of original stickers that go to these pieces. I mean, if you don't want me to peel the price sticker off, then you need to think of better sticker placement, like for real. But it's this butterfly gold milk glass Pyrex um, butter dish and it was half off. So it was like a dollar and change. So that is a really good deal for that one. Then my mom spotted this little spoon rest. It's an owl. I've had this one before, but it was like, it was a tourist piece, like it, Atlantic city or something like that. I think it's sold in one of my other live sales that I do, but it was a dollar 18. I don't know. thought it was cute. So we picked that up. Then my mom found this for my sister. So it's finally unwrapped. You guys know my sister Jenna loves frogs. So I found it. So I'll be able to give it to her tomorrow. Um, yeah. Pick that up for her. And oh, this. This stuff has been wrapped up for a little bit. So I got this uh, turkey candle. Now, I don't know, it might, may or may not be a girly candle. You never know when the paper's ripped off the bottom, but it's still a really cool molded candle. And it has very little, a lot of times these, you know, have, they get scratched and smushed and, but that one looks pretty good. What else do we have? Oh, this was neat. It's this, it has some kind of little marking on the back right there, but it's a little, um, probably like matchstick holder or I don't know. You can even put a little air plant in it if you wanted to. It's a little Native American. Look, a little piece of pottery with the Native American on it. That's really cool. It was a dollar eighteen. 
I liked it. That light comes, I need it so it comes from both ways, but it's only coming from this way. Hopefully you guys will be able to see. Mom found these, these are cute. They have a foil sticker on the bottom, but what was ever on there is long gone, whatever it says. But cute little cow with salt and peppers. It's been a while since I found cute salt and peppers at like the, the um, well, any thrift store really. Then these are salt and peppers as well. These say San Myro, Taiwan ROC, and they're very St. Patrick Day like. So it's got the boy and the girl. Very cute. And if you didn't want to use them as salt and peppers, you can use them as figurines and place them out for like St. Patrick's Day. Or if you just like the color green. Are you waiting to ask me something? No. Yeah, you can come over here. Gabriel's going to come say hello. Hello. <laughs> Don't hit anything now. All right. Then we found this little kitty um like pitcher like that's the little handle right there it's a dollar 18 doesn't say anything on the bottom like a maker or anything all right and this i think it's missing something but it's older and it's really cool so i grabbed it anyway it's this little egg thing but see how it has hands right there so it probably had a little chick or something sticking out of there at some point um, but I thought it was really cool, and I could tell it was an older piece, and I'm a sucker for that airbrush. Have you done these yet? Yes, I've done all these. What is it? It's a frog. All right, then these were so cute. Look at these things. They're like little chicks hatching out of eggs. There's a black and a yellow. They have all kinds of great crazing on them. So I wasn't, I mean, I did a quick look, and I wasn't able to find um, exactly who makes them, but... A little more research and I might find that out all right then my mom found this see this is what I mean goodwill stop this stop this right here like I know this is a small item and you can only you only have so much room but this happens on like everything all right this is called Lou Rankin's little creation sea baby 1993 and it's a is that a walrus sea lion walrus no a sea lion has tusk doesn't it i don't know a seal a sea lion i don't know it's a wait does it say what it is it's a, seal. a sea baby it's a seal baby all right this is so cute and then yes it is cute and then my mom spotted this as well it probably came with a boy it's left in um and she looked like she might have been like kissing a little boy or something, but the other piece is gone. So we got that. What else did we get? These are great. I have to get these listed. These, do you know what these are? Tiki. Yep, they're tiki mugs. So these are Tiki Bob's San Francisco tiki mugs. And just one of these sold on eBay. It did still have the red tongue though. Sold for $166. So this is an original vintage piece. Um, they have the Made in Japan stickers on the bottom. Ooh, we sold... A, we sold a Beanie Baby. Yeah. On eBay, yeah. So these are a great score. My mom did great this week. Um, this time we went shopping. Um... I'll, when I do my Salvation Army haul, I'll tell you something else she found. And it sold like within 24 hours. And we did great on that one. So she had like golden fingers last week. All right. Then we found, look at these cute little pilgrims. Holiday Spice Salt and Pepper Shakers. These were from... Wait, no, Russ. That's who it was, Russ. So it's a little, a bear. It's two bears. <laughs> so they have the two pilgrims here the boy and the girl really cute really good condition 
And they have an original price tag back in the day when these came out of $8, so. I sold um, all the all the holiday type ones that I've ever found. I've sold like all the salt and pepper shakers. So if you guys look for those, like that's a good like small item to look for for resale. Now this is really cool. Look at this. Is that like a hat? This, no, it's almost like a fairy lamp. Okay. Don't do that. It's almost like a fairy lamp. Like you would put the candle inside here and, and I just sold a pair of pants. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, a pair of sweatpants. Mm. So this is like a fairy lamp, I would think. You would put your candle inside here and then it glows all throughout here. And it's like got the ghosts and it's got the bat and the pumpkins. And it's, of course, they put tape on the original sticker. So when I take the tape off, it's going to peel it off. But it's from 1999, so it's 21 years old. I already showed that. I know, but I already showed it. So it's 21 years old and it's in really good shape. So I'm probably going to put this in my live sale and see how that goes. This thing's awesome. Or you can put a little strand of like maybe twinkle lights in there if you didn't want to do a candle. Here, I put it in this box. All right, then the next thing we have here is this wooden cat. The collar to me looks a little older and the bells. I don't know. This could very well be modern, but it's made out of wood. They carved it out of wood. It has a little tiny chip in the paint on its ear, but he's really cool. A red cat. That's really cool. Then I had a vase very similar to this or a, or not a vase, a planter very similar to this and one of you guys um one of my subscribers um like sought me out and i wasn't gonna sell the planter but you guys really really wanted it and she was overseas and she bought it and this is like the like a wall pocket that matches it it's like this is fabulous it's a more modern piece but it's great i love the leopard i love the leopard and palm fronds i love that so yeah really cool wall pocket that mom found then this is a really cool um probably like a like a hobbyist piece you know they probably painted it up it's kind of heavy right now but it has these in here and i think it's filled with sand because i can hear something shaking around so you can take that sand out like for shipping and it can be lighter and then you can sand? refill it if you want to yeah it's so it doesn't like fall over so they weight it down but it's a really pretty um little deer don't don't undo those or it'll spill everywhere. Yeah, it does spill everywhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Then these were in, I guess they were in my video and I didn't, like I didn't notice them. And like, yeah, I, I, like I, yep. I skimmed right past them in my video and then I went back to them and I was like, oh, look at these. So they're little cat like marble um, coasters and you get a set of four. So you got like this brownish speckle one. You got the white one. And I'm I'm debating on if I want to actually sell these because we need coasters around here. And so you got another one of these and like a more a lighter color. And their original price for these was um, four for fifteen. Yeah, we need coasters. So I'm debating because. They want to set their drinks on my like 200 year old trunk I have out here and I have to get a piece of glass cut for it but I'm like I need coasters so we got that then I thought these were really unique they were wherever they were originally sold I don't know but they ended up in TJ Maxx and of course they put their sticker there um, but they're knobs they're really cool knobs so if you see the wood back there that you could put on a little drawers a set of drawers or whatever a large jewelry box or whatever you would need knobs for but I just thought they were really really interesting they're really unique with those little pieces of wood there all right, and then the last couple of things I got, I got a set of four of these Field and Stream mugs. Um, they're for, it's a store, and 
or is it a store or like a line of clothing or something like that um might be both but hold on peel their price tag off these don't have a date no they don't have a date but a set of four just sold for like 40 something dollars on ebay so i always check the mugs um and luckily i found four of them so i'll be listing those on ebay and the last thing we have here is like this super like 80s um planter now i got a lot of comments about like the 80s stuff how they pass it up and it doesn't sell i'm telling you look into some planters or some 80s pottery and um just type in 1980s planter or 1980s pottery and go to solds you'll see so and then i have other people um commenting saying that the 80s stuff they're finding whether it be toys or like decor is really starting to sell so we picked this up for a few dollars and that is everything i have from the goodwill from when my mom and i went shopping um let's see anyway so don't forget to go down below to the link tree link where you can find my t-shirts down there um don't forget to go follow me on instagram because i post new things over there little sneak peeks of things that um will go there before they come to youtube don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys again soon bye